Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 17, 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's, let's get to it and we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And this was an absolutely horrible day for the market in general. NASDAQ is down, uh, now it's up, it was uh, down more than 4%. Uh, S&P was also down more than 3% and just look at uh, the uh, the stocks that I have on the list here, everything is basically in uh, red and it was a very red day. But we are approaching um, significant uh, resistance, uh, support in the coming days, probably tomorrow or in the beginning of uh, next week. If we look at technical English for the uh, daily chart, we can see the MACD is a bearish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. We're at 33 in the RSI, we're getting fairly low and we are basically um, at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So there are things that are pointing to um, a rally in the next coming days because the market is so oversold at this current stage. If you look at the weekly chart, we're approaching a major support here down at the, at the 200 moving average. If we scroll out, we can see that uh, every time we have approached the 200 moving average in the weekly chart, we have basically rallied. So we have basically fallen off a cliff in this year and approaching this uh, major support uh, uh, level. That being said, it doesn't mean that we can't go lower. It only means it's that if you look at historical patterns, then we should be seeing a rally um, towards the 200 moving average or at the 200 moving average. If you look at the RSI, for example, in the weekly, we can see it's at 1929, uh, which is uh, oversold, significantly oversold. Uh, Stochastic is also very bearish and the RSI and the MACD is also bearish. But just go back in time. Every time we get close to the 200 moving average, we get a V-shape uh, recovery. We do not have the Fed um, helping the market at this point, but when things can, can become this oversold, they technically tend to uh, rally to the upside. So where we may see this rally is towards the 20 simple moving average in the weekly. It's up here at the 13.3K or the 50 moving average all the way up here at 14.6K. So uh, bear market rallies can be uh, very aggressive and, um, and we we have only seen one uh, this year. It was right here. This was back in in uh, February, March. We hit the 50 moving average, and then we have been dropping ever since. So we probably will see uh, the next three weeks um, a rally in this market before continuing lower, as economic outlook is looking terrible at this current stage. For the weekly chart, if we can look at this. Then we have the 20 simple moving average that should offer resistant. We have the 50 moving average that should offer resistant as well and breaking above here. And then we may go and test the, the 200 moving average. But as I said, um, things are significantly oversold at this point. And therefore we may see a short term rally. So, so this is S&P 500. This is even much worse than the NASDAQ when it comes to uh, being overstretched and oversold. Uh, we are outside of the Bollinger Band here, had a little bit of pullback at the end of the session. Start RSI is at 30 at this point, and the Stochastic and MACD are very bearish as well. So we have the 20 simple moving average that we may um, rally up towards and um, get rejected. You have the 50 moving average right here that we also may get rejected and the best case scenario, 200. There's probably, we'll probably see this um, market going down, continue going down until basically the Fed says now is time to start supporting the market again. And at this current stage, that is uh, not something that the Fed is going to say. So let's look at the Dow Jones. It fell really hard today as well, even though it has been holding up uh, much better than the other two indices. Uh, we're under 30K at this current stage. 
significantly overstretched and also oversold uh, but indicators are very bearish but due to the fact that we are this far down you can see what happens here you can see what happened there and also here and also here now we tend to rally every single time we get to the bottom of the Bollinger Band and uh, this is probably also something that is going to happen in the next uh, few trading days so 22 minute moving average is where we may get rejected or the 50 moving average is where we may get rejected or the 200 moving average probably the best case scenario so um, yes uh, we're still in a downtrend but uh, bear market rallies they do happen and if we look um, scroll out we basically see that we are almost approaching the pre-pandemic levels we are right here at those levels so so basically the uh, the gains of uh, late 2020 2021 uh, they have basically been wiped off the map at, the, at this current stage and we are uh, breaking both up below here well that could basically get us back in towards uh, these levels here that we saw uh, from the pandemic so let's look at the European market. They look absolutely terrible. Uh, we broke below this level here. And at this point, it is uh, fairly likely that we'll go and test this level again. But also here, it is very uh, significantly overstretched. Outside of the bullish band, we are approaching oversold conditions here. So a rally up towards the 50 moving average or the 20 simple moving average that before continuing lower that is probably something that we'll um, see you know, going forward so rally up here break below this trend line and then the bottom is basically where we saw back in early march to the upside to too bad it's not a lot of upside in the european markets that uh, when it comes to energy this economy is going to struggle going forward we have a double top here that we need to take out before we go to the 200 moving average but there's uh, uh, probably no uh, not this level that we're going to test in the near future most likely rally up here and head back towards the very lows so let's go and look at the VIX so VIX fell yesterday didn't get get towards the 50 moving average or the 200 moving average and then just popped so continuation and probably uh, significantly higher if we manage to break above this level here so big has been building up for higher volatility and 40 is probably where we'll see this market turn around that that point there will be so much uh, market so oversold that there will probably come uh, buyers being interested in basically buying again uh, going higher than that then we are looking at uh, these levels yet again so 40 is definitely a level that it will be interesting to l look after if you look at the macd is still bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is also bullish and there is still some room to the upside so let's look at the 10 year continues the fall was really volatile today and uh, my prediction that we are probably going to bounce from the 50 moving average that kind of looks like what we're going to see going forward so 50 moving average rallied got very overstretched here is pulling back doesn't mean that we are going to break down just means that we are changing the angle of this uh, rally that we saw earlier this was much more uh, steep and uh, now we're just going slower to uh, the upside if we break it below the 50 moving average then we may drop it towards the 200 moving average but at this current stage it looks like we are going to bounce off the 50 moving average macd is becoming bearish it's still bullish but it's uh, turning around here and uh, stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well and uh, probably the reason why we're pulling back is because the rsi was significantly overbought and therefore it needs to come back down last time we were overbought here was back in 
in May, and we fell all the way down towards the 42 in the RSI before continuing higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.